Do not use Colmac. Well, what is Colmac? Well, this is Colmac. Now, why is Colmac? Well, this is why is Colmac. Colmac is an alternative keyboard layout. And the entire idea of Colmac is that it's better than QWERTY. QWERTY sucks, right? QWERTY wasn't made for typing. QWERTY was made for, you know, to stop the typewriter from jamming up. Meanwhile, Colmac, that's efficiently designed. That's designed for speed. It's designed for ergonomics to reduce injury. I used Colmac for six years, and I can tell you it is a mistake to use Colmac. So my history, in high school, I'm a, I'm a touch typer on QWERTY. You know, hunt and peck, finding keys individually with my fingers, and I want to learn 10-finger typing. I get introduced to Colmac, so I'm like, if I'm going to learn to 10-finger type, I may as well learn to 10-finger type on Colmac because it's just better. It's faster, more ergonomic, etc. And I did that for six years. So I started in high school, and for six years... I typed exclusively on Colmac, on the phone, on the keyboard, my computers, other people's computers, every keyboard I touched was Colmac. And I was lucky at university, I was allowed to use Colmac on Linux computers, Windows computers. Not everyone gets that lucky, but I was very lucky in the case that I was allowed to use Colmac on everything. I never had a disadvantage. And even with all that, Colmac was definitely the mistake. So why shouldn't you use Colmac? Well, one of the big premises and reasons why everyone uses Colmac is because they believe it's faster. Top typists don't use Colmac. Sure, there are exceptions to that rule, but top typists don't use Colmac. They use QWERTY. If Colmac provided a significant enough advantage, we would see top typists using Colmac, and with the exception being QWERTY, but it's the other way around. The number one predictor of typing speed is not keyboard layout, in the same way that the number one predictor of basketball skill is not the shoes they wear. The number one predictor of typing speed is how long they've spent practicing typing. And I can tell you right now, the time you will waste learning Colmac could be better spent just learning to type faster on QWERTY. But you will find that majority of people that type on Colmac don't actually practice speed or really care about speed at all. If you really want to be fast, do stenography. If you want minor typing improvements, just practice typing. Don't ever go for Colmac because it won't increase your typing speed. Sure, there's a theoretical like, I remember this like reading something as a theoretical like 0.5% typing speed increase. Sure, that exists in theory. In practice, there was no advantage. And what I came to realize over the years was that not only was there no advantage, it was a disadvantage. So one of the next big things everyone talks about in Colmac is the swapping of backspace and caps lock. Brilliant. Instead of having to reach up all the way over there to undo your mistakes, you've now got it basically on the home row. Quick access to undo mistakes. That's got to be faster, surely. If you ever go and do proper lessons for typing and, or even if you try to do any activity faster, you know, what comes first has to be accuracy. You have to avoid mistakes to go fast. The top rally drivers aren't sending their car as fast as they can they're avoiding all mistakes first and then going as fast as they can while staying underneath that sort of not crashing barrier, right? It's the same with typing. You don't want to make mistakes. They slow you down. The, the fastest typists are some of the most uh, accurate typists as well. The ability to undo mistakes quickly allows you to get away with making more mistakes, which further encourages you in the long term to make more mistakes which in the long term means you're going to be a slower typer. QWERTY, on the other hand, is very punishing for mistakes. That's not a nice movement to undo words. It sort of has a reinforcement of not making mistakes. Not only are mistakes bad, but it's also annoying to undo them. Meanwhile, in Colmac, sure, mistakes are bad, but it's easy to undo them. So and you end up making more mistakes, you end up being slower overall. The next idea is the rolling, the rolling of the keys. So when QWERTY, all the keys you just randomly lay it out and it's some fingers doing all the work while other fingers are resting. And on Colmac, you've got this idea of sort of rolling through the keys, sort of like a wave motion. Like if you type S-T-A-R-T, start, on Colmac, you notice there's a nice roll of the fingers. It's supposed to be ergonomic. It's supposed to be, you know, more efficient with the typing. It's not true. Anyone that has done programming can answer this question for me. Is it better to do programs sequentially or in parallel? It's almost always better to do them in parallel if you can. With the rolling, because the keys are so close together and you sort of have to roll through the motion, you're forced to do it in like a sequential motion. Meanwhile, if you look at something like QWERTY or Dvorak, and I'm not saying Dvorak's good at all, I'd say any alternative keyboard layout is not worth it. But on, on non-Colmac layouts basically, 
you can type in parallel. You can hit one with your right hand and then hit another key with your left hand. And you don't have to roll through all the keys to type your word. So it's faster to not roll through all the words. And the last point that I'm going to bring up is the one that everyone already knows. Colmac isn't widely supported. It's not a default keyboard layout. And like I said before, I got really lucky. I was able to use Colmac wherever I went. It did require some setting up. It did require me to have a USB in my bag at all times with a portable Colmac layout on it. I was able to use Colmac basically wherever I wanted. However, even the effort of setting up, you know, setting up devices, setting up keyboards, replacing keys on my keyboard, carrying around a USB, all that is just a waste of time. If I'd spent that time learning to type, I'd be a much better typer. The, the worst problem for me is sort of, isn't the fact that Colmac's bad, it's that you get stuck using Colmac. So when you use Colmac, you unlearn QWERTY. And you get into a sort of Arabian Prince scammer sort of scenario. So you know that sort of email you get where it's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Arabian Prince, send me a million dollars and I'll send you back two million. People get into that scam, they keep doubling down. They're like, they send them a million and then the email get back, they, uh, they get an email back saying, oh, I need 10,000 now. Oh, I need 100,000 now, et cetera, et cetera. And before you know it, you've spent twice as much money as you should have got nothing in return. And the reason you have that is because you don't want to admit you're wrong and you feel like the end is the end is coming soon. And that was with me on Colmac. I put in all this time and I'm like, nah, surely it gets better. And then when I realized it wasn't getting better, I'm like, well, I'm already in this deep. I should continue. And then when I realized I just need to get out as soon as I can, it was very hard for me to get out because like I, I'd spent six years and now to say that I'd wasted six years basically to say that I, like I tried to convince people that Colmac was good to say I was wrong to them and maybe even to say that I'd wasted their time if they went and learned Colmac. I'd wasted my own time. I've wasted other people's time. I'd been wrong and that's very hard to admit that you've sort of wasted a... Look, it's not as significant in the grand scheme of things, but at the same time, it sort of feels significant, right? And it's sort of hard to go back because you spent all that effort, all that time, all that resources, convincing other people, wasting their time, wasting their resources, and now you've got to go back and undo everything. It's not nice feeling like you have to undo everything. So that's why... That, this is my warning. Don't use Colmac. Just use QWERTY. And yeah, don't use Dvorak either because that's probably bad as well. Although I definitely say it's better than Colmac, but you look, just don't use alternative keyboard layouts.